this is Mistress Lancy Rose, and this is the part two of the Foot Attic Dominated by Feet Hypnosis Session. Now, let us begin. Yes, that's right. That is what is happening to you now. You're being cursed to worship feet. It's not a simple curse. Not something to ignore. Not something to set aside. You can't set it aside because you watch them. You watch them all the time. You may not even think about it. You may think that you're a free of the curse. Except that when you look around, you'll notice you're not staring at faces. You're looking down. You're looking down at feet. And as you look down at feet, you stare and you wonder. You wonder how big they are. You wonder how they're shaped. You wonder what that big toe looks like. What each of the other toes look like. How they keep their toenails. What their foot smells like. Feels like. Probably even what it tastes like. Yes, you are addicted to feet. You are just simply completely addicted. You are a foot watcher. That's right. That's the word. A foot watcher. You watch them. You worship them. You stare at them. And if someone asks, you have to tell them another small piece of this curse. If someone asks why you're staring at their feet, you'll have to tell them some small portion of the truth to let them know in a small way that you wish to worship their feet, that you want their feet, that you want their feet to touch you, to run across your body. You want the breath and the smell of their feet after they've been running in tennis shoes, that you want to feel the shape of their feet pressed against your face, that you have a need to worship them. You are addicted to feet. You are a foot watcher. You watch them. You crave them. You imagine them. You want to worship them. It is simply is what you are. And you cannot change it and you cannot escape it. And each and every time you listen to this curse, the compulsion gets stronger and stronger. Each and every time you listen to this curse, you become more and more obsessed with feet. The desire for them is burning within you, going stronger and more intense with every passing day. You are addicted to feet. You are a foot watcher, and you cannot help it. It is who and what you are, and you cannot change that about yourself. You cannot change it. You cannot resist it. You cannot fight it. You are cursed, and the only way to stop it is for me to remove the curse. There's no other way out. If you attempt to stop listening, you'll be drawn back. If you attempt to stop looking, you'll find your eyes going back. You are trapped. You choose to listen to this file and accept its consequences. And now, now you'll suffer from them. You are a foot addict. You worship feet. That is exactly what you do. And you're going to do it from now on. You cannot help yourself. The only way to help yourself is to get the curse lifted by me. Beyond that, you are cursed with this permanently for the rest of your life. You'll always be a foot watcher. Always be a person who wonders what the type of feet under any given pair of shoes is. It doesn't even matter whether you find the person attractive or not. What is important are the feet, how they look, how they feel, how they smell, 
how they taste. Yes, you are addicted. You are obsessed. You have discovered a newfound craving, a newfound need, a newfound want that is burning through your body. And you cannot escape it. You cannot escape it now or ever. You are a curse and only I may remove the curse. Only I can make you go back to the way you once were before. You are cursed to stare at feet, to lust after them, to need to touch them and smell them, to feel them. Yes, that's right. To feel the shape of their toes, the shape of each and every toe as your hand or your tongue runs over them. To smell the smell of the feet, whether they've been in tennis shoes or work shoes or simply out all day long. Each foot smells different. Each foot feels different. Each foot looks different. And to you, every single one is special. To you, every single one needs to be seen. And you want to see as many of them as possible. You want to touch them. You want to worship them. This isn't just a fetish. This is an obsession. And you can't escape it. You can't escape it until I remove the curse. Until then, you will permanently be trapped inside of this curse. Trapped in it for the rest of your life. Or until I remove it, you are completely unable to escape this curse, this fetish, this desire, this burning passion. There is no way out. You are trapped and this is the way it is. And the way is going to be for you from now on.